Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are making Alfredo, shrimp Alfredo from scratch. Now this works well with chicken, crab meat, lobster meat, any type of meat you want, this will work for, all right? So without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay, so you'll need Parmesan cheese, mozzarella cheese, mushrooms of your choice, half and half heavy cream, butter, spinach, fresh spinach, some shrimp, and you'll also need some white wine. This is not including the additional seasonings that we'll be using for our meal. All right, so first we're going to start off with a tablespoon of butter. We're just going to melt this down. Okay, and you want to melt it down nicely because we're going to add our roughly chopped mushrooms. Now, again, you can use portobello, you can use shiitake, you can use white button mushrooms. I personally like a mushroom medley. It has so many different uh, mushrooms and it. it has a little bit of mix of portobello and shiitake and some other oyster mushrooms. You know, I just love mushrooms. And my mushroom sauce is bomb.com. So put it in the pan, add some salt to it. And this is the white wine that I'm going to be using. Um, I'm going to show it to you guys in a couple seconds. You can use any type of white wine. You can use regular white drinking wine. Um, I don't have any of that, so I'm just using white cooking wine. That's usually found in a kosher section of the market okay and uh, so we're gonna go ahead and cook down our mushrooms for about five to seven minutes well first we're gonna cook them for about five minutes let them start getting a little brown and crunchy and crispy around the edges I'm adding a fresh sprig of rosemary another tablespoon of butter it's gonna be a lot of butter in this y'all and about a half a cup of white no, no, I'm sorry, one-fourth of a cup of white cooking wine. I'm going to now squeeze one-fourth of an, uh, a lemon into the mushrooms as well. Like, trust me, y'all, this tastes amazing, amazing. So you don't want to skip this part if, unless you just don't like mushrooms. If you don't like mushrooms, then skip it, but you're doing yourself a disservice. Now, for my shrimp, I'm using pre-cooked shrimp because that's what I had in my freezer, but I highly recommend you guys get raw shrimp and i'm doing some old bay some pepper and some oregano i didn't have any italian seasoning which is what i would have preferred but you know you guys use italian seasoning i'm just rocking out with alfredo i mean with oregano all right so now in a clean pan i have another tablespoon of butter and about two tablespoons of olive oil good quality olive oil and i'm gonna cook my shrimp in this okay and i say good quality olive oil because it has a much fruitier taste than cheaper olive oil and that beautiful fruity olive taste that you get from good quality olive oil will definitely add nice a, a nice contrast of flavors when you're making this alfredo okay so this is my last knob of butter i promise so i'm adding one more knob of butter and keeping all of that shrimp sauce juice um, because that's going to also flavor the alfredo. So I'm going in with about two tablespoons of flour because we're going to make a roux. And you need to make a roux because that flour acts as a binding agent between the liquids and the fats that are in your milk. You know, because milk is fat, but it's also a liquid, right? And you don't want your sauce to split. When your sauce splits, you can tell because your, your sauce gets a little clumpy or chunky and... It just, it doesn't look really nice, but it, it tastes great, but it just doesn't look nice. So making a roux helps uh, keep your sauce from splitting when you're making a, a, you know, a very rich fatty sauce. So I went in with an entire half a quart of, um, or half a pint, I'm sorry, of half and half. And now I'm going in a little bit with the heavy cream. I'm just trying to test out the waters and see what the texture is like with my sauce. And I'm cutting up about a cup and a half of fresh mozzarella cheese. Um, I'm going to add the mozzarella cheese into my sauce, my cream mixture, um, so that it can thicken up and also flavor the sauce, okay? So that's what you guys want to do with that. And just keep an eye on it. Everybody likes their sauce different 
textures. Like my husband, he loves his sauce to be super duper watery like soup. I don't understand that because it doesn't even stick to the noodles right. It don't make sense to me. But anywho, he enjoys it. I tend to like a thicker sauce, so that's what I'm doing here. I like for my sauce to not be too thick, but a perfect saucy consistency I don't know it looks it, it should be like sauce <laughs> like sauce from a can you know how it's not too thick or too, or too thin it's just just right you just you know find your perfect texture if you need more uh you know you want it to be more saucy just add a little bit more cream to it if you want it thicker add more parmesan cheese and mozzarella cheese you know that's just, that's what cooking is all about. It's trial and error or it's finding how you like things. All right, so right now I'm tasting my sauce and it needs a little bit more sauce. So I'm gonna go ahead and add uh, that to the pot. But other than that, the flavor is on point. When I tell y'all I could not stop like eating this when it was done, it was just so, 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 so good. All right, so now I'm gonna add some more oregano leaves. But instead of oregano, you guys use Italian seasoning because it has basil, it has oregano, it has marjoram, it has all these different uh, dried uh, herbs in it that will definitely make the flavors pop a little bit more. And instead of dry uh, pasta noodles, I'm using fresh pasta noodles, uh, which I love because the, the texture of fresh pasta noodles are so different. It's so much chewier and they taste richer. It's so good and it takes a shorter amount of time to cook them it takes about maybe like five minutes to cook them uh it's really short so i'm gonna go ahead and add my shrimp back into my pasta and alfredo sauce along with my mushrooms and that uh rosemary sprig that i had earlier now i'm gonna go ahead and with my fresh spinach um you can use uh frozen spinach if you like um, but just make sure you thaw it out and remove as much liquid from the spinach as possible before you add it into your spinach mixture, okay? That's the only, that's the only thing, you know? Don't be coming out here with some watery pasta. Talk about some Gigi told me to add the frozen spinach. I ain't say that, you know? You gotta, you gotta wring it out. Wring out that spinach, okay? And then add it. Um, and so as I was mixing everything, because I was using fresh fresh pasta they kind of keep flour on the pasta or cornstarch on the pasta to keep it from sticking um and so it was sticking and thickening up my sauce so because of that i went in with some more heavy cream to loosen it up a bit and that's it i'm adding the other half of my uh shrimp for for photo things you know gotta make it look pretty so when you take a photo people see it and want to eat your food so that's what I did and that's it if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already leave any questions or comments you have below and make sure you guys follow me on Instagram you know at the hungry joint and so yes that's it I'll see you guys in the next video bye